Thank you, Chair, through uh, my governor. The objection being raised is breach of Article 229, Sub-Article 4, and 8. The two sub-articles of the Constitution relate to timelines given to the Auditor General within which to audit and submit uh, accounts of, uh, of uh, county governments. Let me read the section is in one line. It's in mandatory terms and it reads that within six months after, after the end of each financial year, the Auditor General shall audit and report in respect of that financial year on the accounts of national and county governments. That is sub-article 4 of 229, read together with uh, article 229, sub-article 8. I can read it. It's in another one line, which says, within three months of receiving an audit report referred to under subsection 1, Parliament or the relevant county assembly shall debate and consider the report and take appropriate action. So the net effect of the two sub-articles is that the Auditor General ought to have completed and submitted the audit report of the county government of Kisi by December, and that within three months of submitting that report, the Senate here ought to have deliberated and determined these proceedings. So who do you have a problem with? The evidence I have that I can rely on. Which is, constitutional entity do you have a problem with? Which constitutional entity is in breach of the Constitution, in this case, in your I, I, submission? I, I want to believe both or either, and under the constitutional provisions, it doesn't matter whether it's both or either, if at least one is in breach. What has the Senate breached as far as the Constitution is concerned? Two, two, nine. Eight requires that within three Can you months, read it verbatim? Uh, Council, as you prepare to read, you will also address us on retroactive applicability of that decision. You will point us to the paragraph where the judge says that uh, all previous audits are now declared uh, illegalities. I think let's, let's first uh, stick to, um, because here you are at the Senate, I am not going yes. to on answer for the Office of Auditor General. What I'm, I'm going to take responsibility for the omissions or commissions of the Senate. So read 2298. It says, within three months of receiving an audit report referred to under subsection 1, Parliament or the relevant county assembly shall debate and consider the report and take appropriate action. Where, where has Parliament breached that provision? The invitation we received, the, the first invitation to deal with Who this Who tells report. you that that invitation was a first instance where Parliament was dealing with this report? Have you looked at the covering schedule? When was this report tabled in Parliament? Well, you said... When the, was the report tabled in Parliament? Parliament? I don't have the evidence. If you don't have that, then you are engaging in speculation, my friend. That will, that will deal with 2294 concerning the timelines within which they... No, 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 Wakili. If a matter is expressed in terms of a time period, if you do not know the start date, can you really talk to us about breach of the Constitution? I know. You have said yourself you don't know when I the reports... Have, Just a minute. I have one... Do you know... Order, Wakili? Do you know when the reports were tabled in Parliament? Yes or no? It's a simple question. I don't, and that is then why therefore, I clear. Then therefore, you cannot know whether it is out of time if you don't know the date in which it was tabled. That is insofar as you're dealing with the... Correct, and that is the question the chair is asking Let you. Let me clarify this, because this is a no-brainer. I see where you guys are going to, but we are not going to allow you to go there. This report 
for the year ended 30th June 2023 was laid on the table of the Senate by the Deputy Majority Whip on 21st of March 2024. Was that within the three months required of Parliament according to Article 2298? Yes. What does tabling mean? It means the matter was brought before Parliament. What does the Constitution require us to do? It requires us, after, within three months after receiving an audit report, Parliament or the County Assembly shall debate, consider the report, and take appropriate action. When this report was laid on the table on the 21st of March 2024, the appropriate action that Parliament took was to refer it to the Public Accounts Committee. The Public Accounts Committee was then mandated to look at the issues, to investigate the issues, and to bring back a report. What has this Senate done that is outside the Constitution if the tabling and decision was made on 21st of March? Now, the compliance within three months was three months. I'm referring to the proceedings before you. This is the appropriate action that is subsequent to the decision of 21st of March. You should have done your homework. My friend. Chair, also and Governor, you, you, you need to look at the quality of legal advice you are getting. Yeah, we have two reports here. There is 20 I am dealing with this report. What is out of order in the report for the year ended 30th June 2023, as far as the role of Parliament is concerned? What is out of order? I have, have, I have shown you, Deputy Majority Whip tabled this report on 21st of March 2024, and thereafter, Parliament made the decision that the appropriate action is for the report to be considered by the Public Accounts Committee. Chair, sure. have I, you looked at the Hansard? I, I gave this advice based on the two reports that we are here. No, let's deal with one report at a time. Do you have a problem us taking appropriate action on the report for the year ended 30th June 2023? I will need to be furnished with evidence when... Who the, is, is it? Whose uh, responsibility chair, I, I is have, it to I uh, have been kind enough uh, to supply that evidence to you. Because today you are not running away. The evidence is now before you. Can you see uh, the page that the chair is referring to? Chairman, as uh, uh, the CA is looking at that document... Uh, rightly the way you put it, you received the document on 21st March. Within the three months which are coming to an end, that is uh, in July, the invite that you gave us, you should have actually made it possible within the three months to have considered these reports. Governor, you go back and read Article 2298. Yes. We have looked at this ruling that you have put before us. Mm -hmm. We have looked at it from page one to the last page. What is required of Parliament is to debate, consider, and take appropriate action. What we are doing right now is a part of taking appropriate action. When a report is tabled, the Speaker or the leadership of the House makes certain decisions for action to be taken by a committee that is outside the three months that we're talking about here. Uh, uh, Chair and, and Governor, uh, in light of what you told us earlier about your inability to attend this committee, do you, uh, is that really a fair accusation for you to make, knowing very well that you yourself have been unable to appear here and you have given us uh, reasons? <laughs> One time you are outside, uh, the other time you are at a presidential function. We were here. Is it fair for you to say that we should have done things that you know you contributed to the, our inability to do? Chair, <laughs> that would not be fair. I agree. But, but the question is, Chair, apart from where are the Senate as it is that did not receive this report on time as required by the Constitution, could we cure? That's the question, Chair, again. I want to... Okay, let me you ask you, you Governor. Could, when did you submit your financial statements to the Auditor General? It must have been submitted on time, Chair. No, it's not a speculation, because you guys are prepared with the facts. Yeah. 
what is the date on which you presented your financial statements to the Auditor General? Can I have my copy back, uh, Wakili, if you are done? Uh, Chair, I'm told 30th September. Where, where, where are you reading that? No, no, Can you, 